Here at Special Effects, we're often asked for ways that people can play using a standard controller for single-handed use. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can play FIFA with an official PlayStation 4 controller for single-handed use by remapping buttons and sticks and also by adding external accessibility switches. We'll be looking at right-handed play and then we'll be looking at left-handed play. So lots of the people that we meet have already found ways to be able to play by using their right hand. This can include reaching across to the left stick for player movement, or perhaps holding the controller up by their chin and using the left stick with their chin and the right hand to press the buttons. This video will hopefully give you a few different ideas of ways that might be able to help make gaming that little bit easier. So standard controls for FIFA are to use the left stick for player movement and the face buttons for various passes and shots. To make it so that you can use the right stick for player movement, we're just going to go back to the accessibility options. Going down to button assignments, customise button assignments, and then it's just a case of swapping the sticks over. If you now just press confirm, and the sticks should be swapped. So for right-handed play, the face buttons are still acting as pass and shoot. R2 would still be sprint, but we're using the right stick for player movement. If reaching L1 is difficult to be able to switch player in FIFA, there are ways to be able to set this up to do it automatically. So it's just a case of going back into the menus of the game, and going over to the customize settings, and into settings, it's customised controls, and there's auto switching. So at the moment it's automatically set to air balls. We can move that across to automatic. This would mean that you wouldn't have to press L1. If you'd still like to be able to use L1, it might be that having external switches positioned somewhere where you can press them would help you to be able to do this. There are a whole range of different adapters and switch interfaces that you can use to get external switches working with a games console. For this video, we're going to be using the Crosshair adapter, a Don Johnston switch interface, and a buddy button working alongside the PlayStation 4 controller. Here we are using an external switch, which we have mapped to act as L1, which is change player. You can set this button to act as any button that you might find difficult on the controller. So you can map more buttons to act as other controller functions such as pass or shoot so that you can leave your thumb on the stick. These buttons can be placed anywhere that you might find easier to press. So now we will have a look at setting up FIFA for left-handed play by swapping over the buttons. So for left-handed play, pressing the face buttons can be a bit difficult. So what you can do is map the face buttons over to the D-pad. So we'll just show you how you can do this now in the accessibility settings. So it's just back to settings, to accessibility, button assignments, and customise button assignments. So we'll map the face buttons over to the D-pad like for like. So up on the D-pad will be triangle. Down on the D-pad will be X. Left will be square. And right will be circle. You can also map over L2 for R2, so that L2 will become sprint. So now I've swapped the buttons over left stick is still player movement, D-pad is acting as pass and shoot, and I can use L2 for sprint. If you wanted to keep the sprint button where it is, so that you can continue to use L2, you could map this button to act as sprint. Here we're using it with a foot. So 
So using these adapters and switch interfaces, you can try a variety of different controllers, button layouts and switches to find the best setup that works for you. We hope this video has been helpful and please do get in touch if there's anything we can do to help. Thanks for watching.